Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Meromedics. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the subject pharmacology and in that we are going to discuss about the topic antibiotics. So in the antibiotics alengil antimicrobials in the namka parayam namka noka. It is a chemical substance produced by microorganisms having the property of inhibiting the growth or destroying other microorganism in high dilution. So, we have to do this sentence. We to First of all, antibiotics are a chemical substance. That is produced by microorganisms. What is it produced by? What is property? Inhibiting the growth or destroying the growth of other microorganisms. So, if a microorganism produces a chemical substance, we will destroy a microorganism. Basically, antibiotics in the So, we have to do classification on antibiotics. So, it's a 10 mark question. So, everybody should carefully listen and note it down. So, first we'll discuss about the based on the type of action. We can classify it into bacteriostatic and bacteriocidal. Uh, what is bacteriostatic? In the name only, static means in the stop. That is, in this, uh, the microbial de grow, uh, microbial de growth of uh, antibiotics is stop. Yaan. Examples of bacteriostatics are tetracyclines and erythromycin. Next is bacteriocidal, bacteriocidal actions. In the it is completely killing the bacteria. Along with normal the body enter in the microbes in a completely collage. So examples are penicillin and aminoglycosides. Next, based on the spectrum of activity, we can divide it into two. Broad spectrum antibiotics and narrow spectrum antibiotics. So, broad spectrum is a wide range of action. Broad spectrum antibiotics not a specific action, wide range of action under the body. Examples are tetracyclines. Next is narrow spectrum. It is a specific function, specific action. Examples are penicillin G. So, next is Next classification, we know, okay, first is inhibit cell wall synthesis. So, we enter body to uh, enter in the microbe in the cell wall synthesis in inhibit. That is, cell wall synthesis inhibit in the pinna microbe in the body will grow. Example is penicillin, vancomycin, cephalosporin. Okay. Next, interfere with DNA function. So, uh, so we have to interfere with DNA function and interfere with DNA synthesis. Und. So, what is DNA function and what is DNA synthesis? So, we have to enter the microbes. That is DNA functions. Und. Functions and functions we have to inhibit. For example, anna, rifampicin and metronidazole. So, rifampicin is that is an anti-tubercular drug. So, we have a communicable disease on TB, tuberculosis. So, our tuberculosis in the medicine comes under the classification of interfere with DNA function. Next is interfere with DNA synthesis. Our microbe in the DNA synthesis is not Example is idoxuridin. Next is beta lactam antibiotics. That is the penicillin, cephalosporins. That is the Next is inhibit protein synthesis. So, we body the microbe enter the First, it will start to grow. So, for growth, like every other organism, we need protein, right? So, as, as well as microbes need protein. Protein synthesis is ribosome. Ribosome is what we inhibit. If you inhibit ribosome, this microbe is ribosome. It is not the protein protein. It is not synthesis. So, we have uh, antibiotics that is inhibiting protein synthesis antibiotics in the example on a tetracycline erythromycin chlorophenicol okay next aminoglycosides examples are streptomycin gentamicin canamycin amikacin next is macrolids macrolids in example erythromycin, azithromycin, clarithromycin. As we all know, azithromycin, erythromycin are common item. We doctor fever ko varimbolum, sore throat ko varimbolum prescribe in the medicine. Aana. So it comes under the classification of macrolids. Next is inhibit DNA gyrase. Then it comes tetracycline. Tetracycline is an example. Aana. Tetracycline, doxycycline. Uh, next is 
nitromidazoles examples are metronidazole and tinidazole next comes quinolins quinolins in example are ciprofloxacin norfloxacin ofloxacin okay so these all are the important classification of antibiotics so in coming videos we'll discuss about each classification in detail so this is a very introductory video so stay tuned for upcoming videos and please like share subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click the bell button thank you